Hello grade 3 and welcome back to our English lessons. Today we are going through the first part of project from module 5. So quickly get ready. After watching this video, you will be able to read a text about Fred and answer four questions correctly and then learn the correct structure of writing a sentence. So let's start. You may find today's lesson in your student's book, page 69. Hello, my name is Fred. I wrote a paragraph about myself. Look at the pictures and tell me, what do you think it is about? Is it about Fred's everyday activities? Or is it about Fred's weekdays activities? Or is it about Fred's weekend activities? Write your guessing down to check whether it matches the paragraph later. Now listen to the paragraph and tell me, does this match your guessing? What do you do at the weekend? My name's Fred. At the weekend, I don't get up at six and I don't go to school. I always play football with my friends. I sometimes go cycling too. Look at me. So what do you think? Excellent! The paragraph is about Fred's weekend activities. Can you remember the activities mentioned in the paragraph? Great! Playing football and cycling. Now it is your turn. What do you do at the weekend? Lovely! As for me, I always play basketball with my brother and I sometimes draw. Now we are going to read the text that you have on your book, page 69, and then we are going to answer the questions. But don't forget to highlight your answers in the paragraph. So quickly, go get your highlighters. Module 5. Project 1. What does Fred do at the weekend? Read and answer. What do you do at the weekend? My name's Fred. At the weekend, I don't get up at 6 and I don't go to school. I always play football with my friends. I sometimes go cycling too. Look at me! Now let's read the questions that we have to answer. Question 1. What is the boy's name? Question 2. Does he get up at 6 o'clock at the weekend? Question 3. What does he always do with his friends at the weekend? Question 4. What does he sometimes do at the weekend? Now pause the video and try to work on it by yourself. But don't forget to highlight your answers in the paragraph. Excellent! Now check your answers. 1. What is the boy's name? Great! His name is Fred. Did you highlight the answer in the paragraph? Excellent! 2. Does he get up at 6 o'clock at the weekend? Brilliant! No, he doesn't. He said that I don't get up at 6. Question 3. What does he always do with his friends at the weekend? Perfect! The answer is he always plays football with his friends. Question 4. What does he sometimes do at the weekend? Great! He sometimes goes cycling. You did a great job! 
Excellent. We have achieved the first objective, which is read the text about Fred and answer four questions correctly. He did a great job. So, did you notice what is the tense used in the paragraph? Excellent. The present simple. And what words did Fred use to talk about how often he plays football and goes cycling? Brilliant. Always and sometimes. You have to know that we use the present simple to talk about routines, what you do every day or every week. Now let's analyze Fritz's paragraph together. He started the paragraph by introducing his name. He wrote, My name's Fred. He also can say, This is Fred. And then he mentioned the things that he doesn't do at the weekend. He wrote, At the weekend, I don't get up at six and I don't go to school. Finally, he mentioned the things that he always does with his friends. He wrote, I always play football with my friends. I sometimes go cycling too. Now let's read the following sentence together. I walk to school every day. Do you know what we call the red word? Excellent. We call it subject, and we call the word that comes next to it verb. So I as the subject, and walk as the verb. Now open your student's book, page 69, and let's go through the writing tab together. The writing tab says that in English, we always put the subject of a sentence before the verb. For example, I walk to the school every day. She reads a story every day. She as the subject reads as the verb. Another example is we do our homework after school. Can you find the subject? Excellent. We as the subject. How about the verb? Where is the verb? Great. Do as the verb. Now open your workbook page 64 and let's work on activity 1 together. Activity 1. Read and put the words in the correct order. As you can see, the first one is done for us. So let's go through it together. We have play, I, every day and cricket. The correct sentence is, I play cricket every day. Now pause the video and try to work on it by yourself. Excellent! Now check your answers. 2. The sentence is, She walks to school. 3. The sentence is, he is a photographer. The last sentence is, he doesn't drive a bus. You are a superstar. Now let's practice more. Read and put the words in the correct order. Pause the video and try to do it by yourself. Excellent. Now check your answers. The first one is I visit my grandparents at the weekend. The second sentence is She usually bakes cupcakes at the weekend. You are a superstar. Now let's move to a very interesting activity. 
look at the pictures and then complete the sentences with suitable subject. Pause the video and try to work on it by yourself and then come to us to check your answers. Excellent! Now check your answers. The first sentence is They play video games at the weekend. The second sentence is He prays five times a day. The last sentence is She goes to school by bus. You did a great job. Now let's move to the last activity of today's lesson. But first bring your English notebook because you will use it to write your answers. Look at the pictures and answer. What do they do at the weekend? Now pause the video and try to work on it by yourself. Excellent! Now check your answers. 1. She goes to the beach at the weekend. 2. He goes cycling at the weekend. Now let's move to the third picture. Post the video and work on it by yourself. Excellent! Now check your answers. They go shopping at the weekend. 4. They go camping at the weekend. You did a great job. I'm so proud of you. We have achieved the second objective of today's lesson, which is learn the correct structure of writing a sentence. Always remember to put the subject of a sentence before the verb. You did a great job today. Tomorrow we are going to write a similar paragraph to Fritz one. So you have to think about the activities that you do at the weekend. In addition to that, try to revise the stages of the writing process in order to write an excellent paragraph. That's all for today. Thank you for watching us and see you soon.